How much do you know about Albert Einstein? You probably know him for his achievements in physics, and you might also know him as a well-known pacifist. In this presentation, I am going to talk about his, his, some of his well-known accomplishments, as well as some little-known facts about him. Einstein is the father of modern physics for three reasons. First, Einstein was a genius as a young man. Second, Einstein contributed a lot to modern physics. And third, Einstein helped his country. Uh, there is a lot known about Einstein's later life, but what about his life as a kid and a young adult? First point, Einstein was a genius as a young man. Dr. J. L. Weil, the writer of Exploring Creation with Physics, second edition, writes that Einstein didn't talk until he was three, but he had taught himself Euclidean geometry by the time he was 12. This is impressive for two reasons. One, it is impressive because he taught himself, and two, it is impressive because Euclidean geometry is, is advanced math that you don't learn until high school. Also, the Nobel Foundation website writes that Einstein was 21 when he graduated, and 25 when he earned his doctorate. This is impressive because it takes an average of seven and a half years to earn his doctorate, and Einstein earned it in four, only four years. The first reason I'm honoring Einstein today is because he was a genius as a young man. But what about when he, in his middle ages? What did he contribute to science then? Second point, Einstein contributed a lot to modern physics. Dr. Weil, in his 2013 physics textbook, writes, quote, He is best known for his special and general theories of relativity, which form the basis of much of the physics that is done today, unquote. Also, History.com says, quote, He applied the quantum theory to light in order to explain the phenomenon known as the photoelectric effect, by which a material will emit electrically charged particles when hit by light, unquote. The second reason I'm honoring Einstein today is because he contributed a lot to modern physics. One thing we haven't covered yet is what Einstein did in his later years. Third point, Einstein helped his country. History.com explains that because Einstein was a pacifist and a Jew living in, in, in 1930s Germany, he emigrated to the U.S. one month before Hitler gained power. During World War II, Einstein rejected pacifism and wrote to F President Franklin D. Roosevelt urging the funding, the funding of the exploration and development of the atomic bomb. Dr. Weil, in his 2013 physics textbook, writes, quote, He worked with other physicists on a famous letter to Pres President Franklin D. Roosevelt discussing the possibility of making an atomic bomb and suggesting that Germany was already working on such a bomb." Unquote. The third reason I'm honoring Einstein today is because he helped his country. In wrapping up, in this presentation, I talked about Einstein's early life as a genius, his major contributions near the middle of his life, and his contributions to America near the end. I hope that through this presentation, you learned something new and exciting about Einstein. If you were already aware of the facts that I shared with you today, I hope that, that through giving this speech, I gave you a little bit more respect for who, for the great man that he was. One thing to remember from all this, although Hale is a genius, and, and most of his theories are still being used today, Einstein won't always be the best. Someday, there will be someone who will discover something ex extraordinary that Einstein didn't discover. Always remember that even if someone is, is well known around the world and, and very well respected, we shouldn't idolize them too much because there will always be someone better. Today, I, I told you, I, I um, talked about how Einstein is the father of modern physics with three main points. One, Einstein was a genius as a young man. Two, Einstein contributed a lot to modern physics. And three, Einstein helped his country. Thank you.